Here we are at Homedale Park for the start of the 2013 Boys Cross Country Meter Champions Race. This race brings the top three teams and the top ten individuals from all of last week's six group championship races also held at Homedale Park. This could be one of the deepest races in meet history. The top seven and nine of the top 12 finishers from last year's race are back. All nine ran 16 flat or faster on this course at last year's race. 15 have broken 16 this year. Tom O'Neill, Middletown North, the defending champion, has the fastest time this year, running 15.26 to win Group 3. That's number 8 all time. Louis Corgliano of Hamilton was second to O'Neill last week and has the second best time at 15.36. He is the 10th returnee from last year. The other favorites include Dylan Tarpey, Friel Township, the Group 4 champ, Josiah Hanko, Trinity Christian, the non-public B champ, Steve Main, Highland, third in Group 3, Kyle Kroon, Tom's River South, last year's runner-up, Liam Mullet Pingree, and Mike McClellan, CBA, the parochial A champ, are next in time order. The course record is 1453 by Edward Cheserek of St. Benedict's Prep, who won the NCAA title, cross-country title for Oregon earlier today as a freshman. They're just reaching the hill. It's about 100 meters steep at the top. About 100 meters after the start hill, the early leader is Tom Vinci of West Windsor Plainsboro South. He was fourth in Group 4 last week in 1603. This is the first of three roller coaster hills that come after the uphill start that make the first thousand meters just a fun way to start a race. Looking at the team race in a merge of all group races last week, CBA would have been first and is the favorite. They've been ranked number one in the U.S. this year. Can they challenge the Homedale Park team course record of 1603.2 and become the first team to average under 16 flat? Don Bosco and West Windsor Plainsboro South would have been next, separated by just a couple of points, followed by Middletown North and Westfield. This should be a great race. They are now just past 1,000 meters. That's Vinci still holding the lead. Behind him in the black stripes is Liam Muller of Pingree, the non-public A runner-up in 1549. To the right of him is Steve Main who was third in Group 3 in 1541. It's a huge pack. They will bear left and run a slight uphill for another 400 meters. Okay, it's 1,300 meters into the race. It's Vinci leading next to Tom O'Neill in the orange and black. He's the defending champion in one Group 3 last week with the fastest time of the day, 1526. Right behind him in the royal blue was Dylan Tarpey, Friel Township, who was the Group 4 champ in 1539. And in the maroon on the right is Kyle Kroon, Tom Zero South, last year's runner-up. He was fourth in Group 3 in 1542. This is about four minutes into the race, and you can still, they are still three and four abreast. Going down the hill just before the mile, it's Vinci, O'Neill, Maine, Tarpey, and Mullet. They will turn left and then pass the mile. Okay, they're now about 1.1 miles in. They pass the mile in 515, which is about 1530s pace if they feel good. If they feel great, they can close big and run even faster. O'Neill opened a 5 meter lead over Tarpey. Maine is right behind him. So it's O'Neill leading, Tarpey in second. Behind, behind Tarpey and to the left in blue is Mike McClemens of CBA, the parochial A champ in 1556. In fourth behind Maine, the tall one in dark blue is Josiah Hanko of Trinity Christian, who won non public B in 1539. This road leads them to the bowl. When completed, the real racing will begin. So entering the bowl, it's O'Neill, Tarpey, Maine, Hanko, McClemens, then Kroon. All right, they are still three abreast as they hit the bottom of the bowl. I don't ever remember a pack this big, this late, in a meet of champions race. And this is not a slow pace. So it's O'Neill leading, followed by Tarpey and Hanko, Maine and McClemens, Kroon, Ungenmach of Wayne Hills, Rooney of CBA, 
and Vinci. CBH third, Blaze Ferro, Asaf is in 11th, so they're in great team shape. Now they'll disappear from view as they turn right to start up the hill. Look at the crowd at the bottom of the bowl, and here we turn and start up the hill. All right, it's still O'Neill, Hanko, and Tarpy in the lead. But if you look closely, there are 18 people within 20 meters of the lead. They are all in a position to win. But we all know that the move has not been made yet. Who will make it and when? As they get to the top and prepare to run the steepest part of the hill, the last 40 meters, it's O'Neill, Hanko, Maine, Tarpy, McClements, Kroon, and in the light blue on the outside is Lewis Corgliano of Hamilton, who had the second fastest time last week, is runner-up in Group 3. And here come the chasers. You can see in their effort how hard it is. That first mile took a lot out of them, and now they're forced to run this other hill that kind of puts them under. They are now 100 meters past the top of the hill, and they're accelerating. It's O'Neill leading. Hanko and Maine a step behind. In the light blue, Corgliano. Mike McClemens next, followed by Tarpy. Ungenmach and Kroon. The chase pack, Mullet behind them in ninth. Higgins in the, of Don Bosco in the maroon in 10th, and it's Group 1 champ Craig Cordy in the black, Chris Luciano, Mountain Lakes in the orange. CBA has three of the next five. That's four in the top 17. They are now about 200 meters from the two-mile mark. Okay, we're now six to 700 meters later, and we have a change. McClemens and Tarpy are the new leaders. Kroon is third, Corgliano, Hanko, O'Neill, and then Maine. There's a gap back to Cordy and Higgins. Then another gap to Mullet, Faro, Ungenmach, Luciano, and then Rooney. Levermore, Lupiano of Westfield, Maine of Pilk, John, Friend, Hogan, and Luch, Vinci, sorry, just went past. We're coming up to about a thousand to go. We're a little less than 800 to go. A little less than 800 to go. Just over two minutes, and McClemens has four seconds over Tarpy with Cordigliano on his shoulder. Kroon a couple of steps back. Then it's Hanko, Maine. O'Neill looks back at Corsi and Higgins. Then it's Faro, Mullet and Rooney. Ungenmach, Mian and Luciano, Lupino, Vinci and Levermore. Then we have Bogan, Robert Stone and Milburn. Justin Lippert of Middletown North, Leland Jones, Bobby Gonzalez of uh, Don Bosco, Tommy Teachin of Hopewell Valley, and CBA's fifth, Mike Cassidy. The leader is 200 meters from home, and it's Mike McClemens of CBA. He made a move with Dylan Tarpey without a mile to go, and then moved away from Tarpey with about a thousand to go. Listen to the crowd as he wins the MOC title. Behind him, it's Tarpey, Corsviano, and Kroon. McClemens will win in around 1526. Hanko is tying up. It'll be Tarpey, Corsviano, Kroon, and four. Then it's Maine, Higgins, Cordy, Farah, then Hanko and O'Neill. Then you have Mian, Lupino, Rooney, Vincent, Vinci rather, Mullet, and then Levermore. In the team race, CBA averages 1552.2 to break the old record by 11 seconds. They win the team title by 53 points over Don Bosco, 
It was 75 points ahead of West Windsor Plainsboro South. They'll both be factors in the regional race next week. Westfield was fourth and Middletown North fifth.